Ladies and gentlemen, thousands of C8 Corvette owners have begged me for this product, and I'm gonna show you exactly how it works. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Brink of Speed. Hope you enjoyed that short. If you came over to this video after watching the short, leave a comment down below and let me know that's how you found this video. I'm really interested to know how many people come to this video from the short. Today I have an amazing video. As the title said, thousands of people are wanting this type of product for their C8 coupe to keep the water out of the engine bay. And I've literally been asked by hundreds and thousands of people in the comments section and by way of email, Facebook, you name it, how to wash your C8 coupe and not get water in the engine bay. So a lady by the name of Amora Scott created a company. It's linked in the description below. It's c8drybayventblocks.com and you can go there purchase these and I'm going to show you exactly what they do for you right now. But real quick before we get into it, thank you to my thumbs up squad for already smashing that thumbs up button. I hugely appreciate it. That really helps the YouTube algorithm and lets YouTube know that you guys are enjoying this content. Also, if you're new to the channel, welcome. We really enjoy having new people on the Brink of Speed community. And if you haven't joined us yet by actually smashing the red subscribe button, please do so and the bell for notification when new videos are uploaded. All right, let's get into the video and I'll show you exactly how these things work. First of all, they come in this little bag here and they are pretty cool. You can tell they put a lot of thought and effort into these. So on one side, they're hard. And on the other side, it's a really soft material that won't hurt your paint at all. And this is the largest one. This is the medium size block, and this is the small block. And then this is the piece that they send to go underneath the window on the bottom to keep water out of there as well. Pretty neat. All right, so at this time, I wanna show you how to put these in. On the short I showed you, but I'm gonna show you not so fast this. So what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that the soft side is down. And like I said on the short, the less pointy side goes up and the very pointy side goes down. You wanna press it in here. And at first it doesn't look like it's gonna cover everything, but as soon as you press it all the way in, then you can no longer see an area where water can get in here. And this is the medium size. Again, pointy side goes down. And just go ahead and press it in really well. And again, you cannot see any area where water is going to be able to get in between there. And then this is the large. Same thing. No area here is going to allow water into your engine bay. Now, one last piece we got to put in on the bottom here is the window piece. All right, now on this one, you're going to want to Start it in on the left side, and just work it underneath the window. And there you have it, it fits perfect. You know for a fact now that water's not gonna get underneath the bottom of that window. Now I'm gonna very quickly put this side in. All right, it's ready to go. But just in case you've never seen what the engine bay looks like after you wash without these in there, let me show you how much water gets in there first. All right, so I'm not gonna wash my whole car today. It doesn't need to be washed, but what I am gonna do is simulate what it would be like if I rinse the car, then I soak the car down, then I rinsed it again. So I'll put about three different things of water on there just so that you guys can see how much water is typically pushed across this area as I'm washing my car. And then we'll open the engine bay and we'll see how much water's in there. Real quick, before we get started though, I'm gonna show you under the engine bay right now and show you how dry it is. So we'll go ahead and open the engine bay here. And as you can see, it's nice and dry. See that? No water in there at all. All right, let's go ahead and get started.
All right, that's me rinsing the car. That would be me using the soap cannon. And that would be me rinsing all of the soap off. Let's go ahead and check it out now. So as you will see here, water came in through here big time and dripped all down in here. All right, so check it out. All this water is in here. Look at all the water right there on the engine covers. Look at all the water on the actual engine cover, especially back here. And then on the side engine cover here. Lots of water in here. Lots right here too. So let's go ahead and fix that right now. All right guys, I'm done drying it all. As you will see here, there is no more water in here. Nothing on the side covers. Nothing on the normal engine bay cover all nice and dry so now let's go ahead put the blocks in and do it again all right let's give it a thorough rinse down again three times now let's use the foam cannon you can actually see water pulling up right here on this piece. All right, let's go ahead and rinse off that foam and the soap. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and dry it off on the outside and then I'll take you inside and show you how dry the engine bay is. Okay, so as you saw there, I took my time making sure that I got the car properly dried. I do have a master blaster that I could have used, but that would take a little bit more time to get it up and running. So I just wanted to use my absorber and a towel and just show you guys how dry I was able to get this thing. Now, one thing I noticed is that a lot of water stays trapped in there. So I'm anxious to see what things are gonna look like once I open this up. So I'm not gonna make you guys wait any longer. Let's go ahead and open it up. Now, one thing you're gonna notice right away is that right there on that crack and on the sides here, a lot of water is gonna run down. We can't help that from happening. All we can do is keep water from going in here, here, and of course down here. So let's see what happens. All right, so we're still getting some drips from up top here. So this one is not quite sealed perfectly. I might have to do that a little different next time. The sides though, as you can see, I don't see really any drips from there. No drips from the sides. Now we still got a little bit of water here. And of course, everything coming down there, we're still gonna get a little bit of water there. But overall, there's no water on the side engine covers at all. There's no water on the, well, I guess there is a little bit right there. There's water on the engine cover at the back from that area back there. And then there's water on that area, just like on the right side. And just a little tiny bit there. Maybe a little bit on this part too. So I think the optimal way to use this is obviously wash it and then use a blower or use a master blaster. That way you are not having the issue of any water dripping because that master blaster is gonna get in this crevice here to get all of the water out of there. And it's gonna get in this crevice all the way down to get all the water out of there. And if this crevice had all of the water out of it before we lifted it up, it probably wouldn't be able to drip like it is. So ladies and gentlemen, is this product 100% effective? Well, I think you've seen that it isn't quite 100%
if you're going to be using a towel or a chamois or an absorber to dry that area off with if you use a blower or a master blaster i would say that you're probably going to have quite a bit less water in there than you than i currently do right now however it is a drastic improvement on what you get without them in there so do i think these things are worth it absolutely they cost a hundred dollars go to the website it's linked below right now you can see it up on the screen and it's in the description below i think it's worth every penny these things are high quality made and they're only going to get better this is a brand new company i'm giving them ideas on how to make these things better i was their test uh, subject i was their test mule and so i'm definitely giving them feedback on how to make them even better and that's only going to help you guys out so Again, the website is linked below. Go there, order your set today, and enjoy having a lot less water in your engine bay. But that's gonna do it, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. Give Amora Scott and Al King a huge thumbs up for inventing this product. And I hope each and every one of you have a wonderful rest of your day, and we'll see you guys out on the road.